little bit because a semi because they are very very good to avoid both teams choosing the same product jackie and brian now want to know which food entrepreneurs they wish to select elevate would you like to tell me your choice please it's mcavoy self heat meals thank you infusion can you tell us your first choice oh please thank you elevate can i have your second choice please yes urban salads thank you Bill. infusion your second choice please Broderick's. 4.30 p.m. As the teams regroup, they must collectively decide what product they are going to pitch tomorrow to spa management and 26 local retailers. Okay, we have two products that we've decided on. Yeah, tell the us. product is uh, it's from a company called McAvoy's. Okay. It's a self-heating meal. Okay. okay. Our second choice was kind of, we wanted to stick to the meal kind of stuff. Mm, yeah. We'd urban salad, but the only thing with the urban salad is it has been done to death. Yeah, has this is the Lily's, right? Okay. We go through Lily O'Brien's and they're called Uglies. Have you seen the packaging on these yet? No. Great packaging. Okay. Cheap. Okay, Broderick's, pros. Started with the mother's recipe. It's a great story. The two young lads, the two lads are really hungry for it. They're really ambitious. Yeah. It tastes incredible. Well, I'm for the, the Broderick's. Based on the task at hand, I'll go for Broderick's. You go for the ugly. I would. Why? Um, at the end of the day, like, Lily O'Brien has a relationship with Spa already. I really, really am passionate about getting behind a startup company. But Bro, I'm just Kira, thinking... what is it? Uglies. Panos. I'll go. Broderick's. Okay, Broderick's is winning. I would love for you to get behind this now. I don't know completely if that's, the, that, that's what we it's made. Vote, I'm 100% behind it. We've been really lucky with our product. The packaging is brilliant. It, it's, you, you, couldn't, you wouldn't want to change it. It's great. It's eye-catching and it's different. It's a heat-up meal. It's a self-heating meal. Basically, yeah. you'd literally just pull the string, yeah. five minutes, and the meal is hot. It's it's hot. How it, it generates it. steam and it just heats the whole thing. You're getting a Michelin star meal for a fiver. For five minutes. For a fiver five in five minutes. minutes. We're going to convince Spar that this is new and innovative and it's the way to go rather than just go with same old plain Jane chocolate. I mean, it's a risk, don't get me wrong, it's a big risk, but you know, we're not in here for the Smarties, we're in here to, you know, make new things happen. Day two. Both teams have until 3 p.m. today to work out their in-store theatre and finalise their presentations. They have both been given 200 euro seed money. <laughs> um, this product, in essence, is a brand new product. It's completely innovative and completely original. Our job is to get people to notice that product on the shelf. Each team has been given access to an expert in brand design, and they have been given a free reign to rebrand the existing prototype packaging. We're using McAvoy's branding. The prototype arrived this morning. Great to actually get our eyes on it. It's 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 nice. It is very very nice. I fail to understand how neither Neve nor Dave can see that this packaging is just not up to scratch. People eat with their eyes and black and yellow far lighter colours just won't cut the mustard. Our thoughts were to actually recreate an oven like fascia so you'd actually be putting your hand through the door of the oven and taking out the ready-made meal. So this would be like a fascia of an oven so that the idea is you're taking the product or out of the oven because it's already cooked for when you pull the string. Barry is struggling with the presentation of his fast heating ready meal and decides to go online to get some more information. McAvoy Family Foods supply distinctly fresh salads and soups using only the finest quality ingredients. In the designers, Dave spots another problem. This might be a problem. It says, warning, do not put in an oven, a microwave oven, or use it in conjunction with any other heating device. Do not reheat. If the fact that we're putting it into a, a fascia of an oven. Basically, we're straight back to the drawing board. If we had gone with the oven or the microwave, I'd say we could have been in a lot of trouble, but luckily it's what it is. A lot of the action is quite simple. It's obviously the POS that's going to be the, yeah. the most complicated, and I've literally drawn a picture here. So we're going to have two of them and they'll be placed in separate parts of, of the larger stores. I think Michelle was very much in control. and She, she seems to know what she was doing. And she, she, for someone who doesn't have a lot of experience, she seems to know where to go with things. He's going to be a bit harder to see because he has more of a body. On Fusion, Jamie has spent the morning number crunching. I was held up this morning trying to get the presentation uh, done because Jamie needed the computer to email, email off his budget to Michelle. Uh, I needed it kind of just to look up the site to try and get information on the brothers and, you know, on Spar, the brand values. 
in her head now, all she's thinking about is doing the presentation and everything else is secondary to her. If you know the stuff, it, it will roll off your tongue. I don't see the, the purpose of printing out a presentation or typing it up. I'm going to have an absolute fit. You're not too bad in that you have your speech. This is the bulk of the story. But I don't have an, uh, we don't know where they're, like, where they're, they're, they're doing it from. Hi guys, are we giving the people from SPAR an actual handout of the prices? I wasn't too keen on doing that because there's so many people there and I, I, and I think that yourself, Kira and Panos can speak clearly and explain in detail what things are and be there to answer questions. I'm not just handing them a piece of paper. I just want it included in the brochure for maybe three people from Spa. We don't have a brochure. Are we actually handing them anything? No. I want to hand them these numbers. I, I, I'd like to hand them these numbers. Them a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Because last time I handed a company an A4 piece of paper with facts and figures on, it was ripped up and thrown in the bin. Will you sit down with Kira and make sure that the presentation is nailed? Perfect. OK. Bye-bye. Okay, where would you buy wicker basket? Would you right, get that? I really want to try and get this done. Is that okay? I'm sorry. Just would you talk on the phone and everything else? I'm getting stressed. Yeah, it's, it's no it's problem. Don't. The main thing is don't stress. And by 12 o'clock, I'm not changing this at all. I don't care what anybody says because otherwise I'll be looking and hurting all over myself. Care so what please. Say. With little information online, Barry has decided to aid his presentation by going to conduct some in-store food tastings. Might be a bit, bit, bit worried about choosing the product, you know, when he wanted to back it up by some market research. Really good. That's nice. Go on, have a go. I'm not strictly uh, meaty. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. There's a bit of meat in there, a bit of fish. <laughs> Barry's very passionate and energetic individual, you know. Sometimes I find it's very hard to work with him because he has so many ideas going at the one time. It's basically a magnesium mechanism. Our time could have been spent elsewhere and more useful, I suppose. It's, he's a Michelin star chef. 11.30 a.m. And having seen the competition in store, Barry wants Neve and Dave to change their branding. I, I think we should make sure that... It's not that I want to change the packaging. I just think the packaging just has to be a bit more appealing. That's all. I'm not saying change is completely... I'm just saying let's, let's just tweak it and make sure it's a bit more appealing. All I'm saying is just just make sure it's sexy, babes, OK? The branding is very good, and it's, it's the branding is very focused on the product, which is brilliant. There's a few things we can do with it in terms of putting the branding along the side as well as on the front and possibly trying to add a little bit of colour in if we can because it is quite dark. Irish made. He's Irish owned. Irish owned. Common. There's two people sitting at a design, in a designer's, and they're under pressure. I don't people barking orders at them saying, this should be on it, this should be on it, that should be on it. They know what they're doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to run cold, warm, warmer, warmer, hot footsteps from the door to, to the actual product where it is on the shelves. McAvoy family foods. Self-heating meals. Self-heating meals. I think the green, white, and gold is really strong. So thank Thanks. you very much for everything. Thanks. Absolutely Thanks. delighted Sorry with your help. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks brilliant. Great. I can't imagine seeing that packaging on a shelf. It looks cheap, and it makes the product look cheap. Hi there. Can I speak to Bobby Kerr, please? Yeah, this is Bobby speaking. How are you? Hi, Bobby. My name is Panos. And I'm on the other team, marketing. they are trying to align their brand uh, with a complimentary in-store offer to secure its success. With regards to running uh, an offer in conjunction with the insomnia. Well, it was an idea that was playing in our minds, uh, myself and Michelle in the car, and we were saying that the offer should be something given for free. Even if you get a coffee, you can get a half price of a bar. We got the name and the number. I called and he was delighted to speak to us. He was delighted with the offer. Okay, well, that's fine. And uh, if it goes any further and you want to take it further, maybe you can hear him back. Obviously, 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 Bobby. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> I've been critical of Panos in the past. However, he's landed a deal with Insomnia. There's 114 outlets in spars around the country. Way to go, Panos. I'm really surprised at that. Back in Croke Park, Suzanne Weldon leads the management team and 26 local retailers into the team's presentations. These are the judges on this week's task, and Spa will be rolling out the winning product. Both teams have only 10 minutes to pitch their product, followed by a grueling question and answer session. First up is Elevate, led by PM Barry. Good afternoon, how are you? Sitting alongside are, Jackie is Jane McAvoy. We are here to tell you today about McAvoy Family Foods. Um, McAvoy Family Foods are a small Irish company. 
that started about 18 months ago. Gary McAvoy is, was a Michelin star chef in working in restaurants and he has come up with a new, I suppose, innovative idea to bring his recipes and his food to the mass markets. The system in which uh, Gary and Jane have patented in the UK and Ireland is, is really simple. It's basically a, a Michelin star meal at the pull of a string. We can have an Irish stew, we can have an Irish coddle. This has some, happens to be a uh, prawn linguine, which the lads seem to be dishing out with great difficulty, but they're, they're doing a fine job. Um, I mean, this, this, this product is new and innovative. Um, it is Michelin star quality at a really simple, you know, it's been brought really, really easy to the market. The system itself, I'll pass this around if you just want to have a look at it and I'll explain to you what exactly it is. This is basically what would be in a fridge um, in Spar. The system's pretty simple. If you just pull a string and the, like, there's, a, there's a heat pack underneath it that literally just heats the meal. In five minutes, literally stick your fork in and it's Michelin star under the tree at Spar, it really is. My husband, when we were speaking with um, with Team Elevate, he said that he'd worked in some Michelin star restaurants, but he never actually said he was a Michelin star chef. We basically have these starting at the door during the launch stage of this product. So as you see, people will come in, there'll be a curiosity as to where these footprints are, what they are. They'd see that it's McAvoy's family foods, self-heating meals, and that they're new. We kept it a little bit mysterious because we want people to kind of be curious as to what these are and to follow them there. We made some minor changes to the packaging very minor because the branding was actually quite strong. Just to point out to you what we did, we've just basically added Irish made, Irish owned. Spar are all about wow, you know, the wow factor. Yeah. And this packaging doesn't really stand out as a wow to me. Like it kind of screams fire letters. You know, just the whole colouring, you know, it doesn't do anything. Well, we did take the lead from the actual, the, the from McAvoy's themselves. They've invested a lot in, in terms of developing this packaging and in terms of developing their brand and using these colours. We, we haven't invested heavily at all in the branding and it's very much at the prototype stage so you know they really had a free reign on it and I would have loved to have seen something new and something um, something as innovative as the actual product itself. Somebody would go in and literally just buy this and bring it home, pull the string. You could pull the string on the way home in the car five minutes from the house and your dinner's ready when you go in the door. Okay, and just a comment on um, pulling the string before you reach the house. Um. Do you know, if you're in the dog house, you know yourself, Mobile and you're phone. going home, and you're sort of saying, I've cooked it in our wifey, and she's, you know yourself, you pull the string and it's done. I mean, it's, you know, it'll get you over a hole as well. Not, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but you can, literally, five minutes from the house, you can pull the string. They're gonna say we own their solder. Yeah. That we own the solder? Yeah. Here, 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 Tom. Look, we believe in the product and we love the product That's and if they love it, they love it, if they don't, they don't. Next up is Fusion and Kira is leading the presentation. Listening to her will be the Broderick brothers. So what did we decide to put under the tree at Spar? We picked a product that was of great value, of really, really, really good high quality, ease on the go and very fresh. And most importantly, we feel 100% Irish. We decided to go with the Broderick Brothers, who are Irish lads, and they were taught how to cook by their mum, um, and which is where the original recipe came from. The Broderick Brothers have also created a fantastic site that you can see here, and they have really, really brilliant, quirky names and fantastic recipes. For example, we have the Chili Burber slice, um, Slappy Slice. Slippy slice, apologies. With this in mind, I hope that you will try our slices and have a cup of tea and enjoy the product as much as we did. Can I ask please, what are you actually pitching? What are you actually selling? I've heard Broderick Brothers, you haven't told us what the product is. Sorry, um, the Broderick Brothers make cakes and bars, so anything from a tiffin biscuit um, to a caramel slice. Cakes and bars, thank you. I felt they needed to, to have more fun with it. I mean, we, we would have loved that if they, if they had. Um, they didn't really get that across. We chose an actual size cutout of, of the owners of, of the company. And you can see that their bodies are actually comprised by shelves where you can see the bars. We placed 
the interactive button where the customer press and actually hears the story of the brothers and how they came up with the recipes. How many bars are you displaying in a box? This one will have two bars wide of one flavour, but will show all of the ten flavours. So you took into consideration mum with her children and her toddlers coming into the shop and the whole lot, and you really feel that would stand up to you? We do, we do feel that it, it will work and it will be sturdy. It is something we discussed with the graphic designer to make sure that you know it, would, it wouldn't fall over or be knocked over. And also the other POS, which is this one.